part one video of thyristors so we have actually discussed uh, regarding a lot of other components of power electronics like power diode power bgt power mosfet etc now we are moving on to a very important component which is called thyristor a lot of applications is there for thyristors in power electronics they are being used in various circuits like choppers and a lot of circuits we are using thyristors okay so thyristor under name of thyristor is scr I hope you have heard this term also. SCR is silicon controlled rectifier. So there is a silicon. This is a silicon component. It's made up of silicon. Okay. So that's why it is called silicon controlled rectifier. So it is a rectifier. Rectifier means it is a unidirectional switch. We know that all diodes are unidirectional switches, right? But there is something which is actually making this uh, SCR, which is different from other diodes. That is. We know that for a normal diode, there is only anode is there, there is a cathode, right? This is the symbol of a normal diode. But if you observe the symbol of a silicon control rectifier, there is a gate terminal also. So there is a controlling factor again. That is a gate. Okay, so this is why it is called silicon control rectifier. So these are actually very important points when talking about thyristors or SCRs. Okay, so SCR is silicon control rectifier. So, it is again a rectifier just like a diode but there is some additional features also, okay. So, in this video we will be actually discussing about the basics of SCR and also the types of SCR, okay. So, first let us see the basics of SCR. So, this is a symbol of a SCR. As I have told, it is a three terminal device. There is three terminals which is anode, which is a positive side, cathode is a negative side and there is a gate, okay. So, this gate is actually turning on and off this device mainly okay anyway there are other mechanisms also we'll be discussing about all those things in the next video okay so let us see the most important features of a thyristor thyristor is a three terminal device which is having four layers if you observe the layers of this thyristor just having four layers there is a p n minus p and n plus that is alternately p n p n arrangement it is and there are three junctions clearly you can see there are three junctions 1, J1, J2, J3. These are not simple junctions but PN junctions. Okay. 3 PN junctions are present and there is a 4 layers. Okay. So, this is the layer structure of a thyristor or a SCR. The terminal cathode is taken from this N. Anode is taken from that P. And this is the gate region or the gate terminal. Okay. So, one of the important features of a uh, thyristor or SCR is that they are having very slow switching okay so the thyristors are inherently slow switching devices okay so they can be only used for low switching frequency applications they cannot be used for high, high frequency switching applications they can be only used for low frequency switching applications so in comparison with BJT and MOSFET the switching time is more so they are slow switching devices in comparison with BJT and MOSFET and also it is having large reverse recovery current okay so these are the important features of a thyristor now let us see the various types of thyristors i hope that you have understood the layer structure how many junctions are present how many layers are present and from which all terminals or which all regions we are taking the three terminals okay so this is a this is a three terminal device it is a rectifier it is a rectifier like device but it is a control rectifier. Okay, so that is why it is called silicon control rectifier. It is made of silicon. It is a controlled type of rectifier. Okay, I hope this much is clear. Okay, next moving on to the types of SCR or the thyristors. Next, we are going to see the types of thyristors. So, there are basically three types of thyristors which are unidirectional, bidirectional and triggering devices. Okay, so unidirectional uh, thyristors will be only working or conducting in the in the forward direction only okay so that type of uh, thyristors are called unidirectional thyristors they will be conducting only in the forward direction only example are the basic uh, scr is a uh, unidirectional thyristor only then lascr that is light activated silicon control rectifier these are the two categories of unidirectional ones now bidirectional means they will be conducting in both forward and reverse direction okay so in the both directions it will be conducting examples are Example is TRIAC. TRIAC is triode AC switch. We will be very soon doing a video. There is a detailed video on TRIAC. So anyway, it is a bidirectional thyristor. Third one is triggering device. Triggering device means 
the third type of uh, thyristor is a triggering type of thyristor that is tri triggering device okay so they require a triggering signal or a control signal to uh, turn on the device or uh, to take the device from non conducting state to conducting state okay so that is type of, that is the third category which is a triggering type of a thyristor okay so they require a triggering signal okay so the examples are ujt which is uni junction transistor sus that is silicon unilateral switch sbs is silicon bilateral switch and diac diac is diode ac switch okay so these are the types of uh, the third category of thyristors which is a triggering type of thyristor okay so the main categories are unidirectional bidirectional and triggering so the unidirectional and bidirectional doesn't require any triggering signal but the third one which is requiring a triggering signal okay so these are the important categories of thyristors so in this video we have actually seen only the basics of thyristor its symbol the terminals and the layered structure and also we have seen the types of thyristors in the next video we will be discussing about the care of the thyristor and also we will be discussing the various modes of operation of a thyristor okay so that is a, a very important portion of a SCR. so that's why i have tried to uh, make a separate video on it okay again there is a video uh, on the thyristor which we have already done and that has been in the uh, that has been kept in the uh, analog electronics playlist and in the edc playlist okay so in that video i have uh, actually included all the informations but the detailed uh, informations i'll be uploading is part by part uh, in the power electronics playlist okay so this is a part one in the part two we'll be discussing the cara and the modes okay so that's all about uh, scr uh, in this video i'm really hoping that you found the video useful if yes please do give it a thumbs up also share with your friends and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching